everyone how are you i hope you're doing okay i've read a book um you know i need to talk to you about it <laughs> before i start talking about the book thank you in advance for the two the i'm sorry to the author and publisher for sending this book to review for y'all this is the review <laughs> before i got this book to review i had no idea who the author was i had no i've never heard of this trilogy uh, of this book of this universe and i don't know i feel some type of way about it because it is something that i would love i would love and i don't understand how it was never recommended to me by my goodreads or anything like that <laughs> so this is the legacy of everath by joseph p Michelino. i'm sorry about your name uh, <laughs> I've just read the first in the trilogy, which is called The Birth of Death, which is, you know what I mean? It's like so goddamn intriguing. I'm a fantasy hoe. I fucking, I freaking love fantasy. And it, it's packaged and wrapped in something that I would certainly gravitate towards. And I don't understand why I was never met with it. I mean, I, I, I have now, but before that. Oh. <laughs> so we have this place this universe where four great demons ruled Everath, and there was continuous war and chaos between the four regions until the gods the deities saw them and couldn't couldn't take it any longer and try to think of a solution and they found the solution in the form of a forest resulting in the world's first dryads until one dryad learned that she can create and then just started creating shit and then the other dryads were like same I, uh, yes yes please i want that too and then they all started creating shit and ended up creating centaurs felis trolls etika etika okay so right out of the bat chapter one this started with the prologue this started reading as a traditional folk lore folk tale like traditional storytelling and i love that aspect it felt so wholesome it's like how the hobbit makes me feel and right away i could see that the author is an outstanding storyteller especially in the prologue Finally enough the prologue and the epilogue both had the same feeling it didn't carry throughout the entire story but they both had that same overwhelmingly wholesome old traditional feeling once i learned about the creatures that we have and the, the the little bit of the lore little bit of the background i love mythology i love norse mythology celtic i love all mythology I love folk lore i love stuff like that i was so goddamn excited to see the author's interpretation of the creatures and to see a little bit of everything because we do have a little bit of everything and i like the little little mixture and meld that we had of folklore and mythology like the druids are irish folklore and the centaur the uh whatever the half goat have man satire satyr thing like that is greek mythology like it's just like a little bit of meld of everything i wasn't sure at first but i i it really 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 excited me along the way it didn't feel weird it felt well researched it felt it felt good it felt cohesive that's the word i'm thinking about it felt cohesive it started reading as a script on this long lost fantasy land type of feel or as an article as an old-timey mixture contemporary but also traditional article of this mystery land which i freaking love i love found files found scripts of like it just makes it feel real and i i love that aspect this was one of the best if not the best that I've read in a royal prologues like ever. It's intriguing, it's interesting, it's fun, it's lighthearted, it's fast paced, it's it's enthralling, it's exciting, it's, um, I don't know, it's like enticing, it's stimulating. I liked the prologue and I mostly liked how simple it's put. Actually, the entire book is written in a very, very, very readable, very simple way, but it's still, succeeds in giving you that fantasy feeling so we forward a little bit after the prologue and we're following an investigator who's like an elvish investigator that worked for the king called artemis atermirid and his colleague or right hand savannah who is a mage working on a case where there are kidnappings of girls all around the kingdom so we're trying to figure out what had happened to them who's been taking them what's happening to them and there was a mixture of contemporary style writing but with a traditional setting or a traditional style of writing with a contemporary setting that i found interesting and i didn't know how i felt about it at first but i liked it it sort of worked for this one like you have a 
elves and centaurs and mages and this like medieval type setting and then the dude is saying just like why don't we just like smoke him out which i liked a lot it gave me the same vibe as um dickinson if you ever watched the show where it's a little bit a mixture of a little bit of both i loved that aspect of it speaking of the settings i enjoy the settings vehemently as the author simply but succinctly succeeded in creating this setting it kind of reminds me of the folk of the art trilogy but more simpler more approachable which also reminds me of another point that this is a great starter fantasy i would give this to a younger person uh it's very middle grade it's it's extremely middle grade no uh, cardinal endeavors no profanity nothing like that which is lovely it's very very wholesome it would make an awesome starter fantasy because not everyone can be okay just starting directly with like a lord of the rings or something like you would get goddamn overwhelmed with that so this is good this is like a good starting fantasy if you're into the whole elvish lore thing i liked the and then the epilogue like i said before was so cool it was perfect i i liked it i liked it a lot it ties everything together and it got me all excited for book two which is called the rise of yuzurki style who is this had to use like a a, a demon type person that we're gonna get to know everything about in the book the third book of the trilogy i think this is this is the final book it's gonna be a complete trilogy is coming in february 20th very 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 close like a couple of weeks close so this is a perfect time to start off the trilogy or to gift it to someone because you're gonna have it completed soon and you do want it completed because that epilogue left me wanting a lot more it also if you ever played this game called um age of magic it's an rpg it reminded me heavily of it like every little bit i read and i'm like it feels like the game but as if i am in the game like as if i jumped and i am one of the characters in the game or following the characters in the game it just it just is i don't know fun easy let's get to the few negatives that i have number one and only at first uh there was a little bit of misogyny when it comes to savannah she is so far the only prominent female character and someone has a crush on her and they see her and the way they describe what they see she's just a li like a little a little a little whiff of misogyny which i it just made me feel uncomfortable reading that that i'll bet that only lasts for the one chapter and the one section of the chapter where we see her for the first time where we're introduced to her but still it just made me feel a little bit uncomfortable this point got better but i'm just mentioning it with the negatives just in case you read the book and you feel the same way at first to just you know keep up the romance it felt a little bit too abrupt a little too fast a little too soon but that just is at first like it dissipates very quickly and we get the more awkward more weird feeling does she like me does she not like me and we get artemis being completely goddamn oblivious and naive to every advance and every like obvious thing which was very cute to me it more of told us directly not showed us at first when it comes to the romance but that feeling doesn't last it gets a little tedious at times where there are a few chapters they're a bit longer than it should in settings that can be a little bit boring but you know it's it's given at times it's given tolkien's describing a little tree for like i don't know 14 pages um which is okay <laughs> again the third book in this trilogy is coming out on february 20th so if you are interested in everything that i just said make sure to place your orders so you'd have the entire trilogy and again thank you so much to the publisher and people and the author for providing me with the book to review for you i hope this was helpful for everyone <laughs> and i wanted to say this per well this is as personal as we can get uh thank you again for being patient and very understanding with my tisms that was nice <laughs> Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. Other than that though, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you next video.